import the assets, file, import, file, select the assets, make sure it says composition retain layer sizes, import, go into the B composition, move the pivot points for both wings. This way you can animate it flapping. Pick up the move tool again, animate one of the wings, R key for rotation. First key frame, few frames later, just rotate the wing up or down, however you see it rotating. Option or Alt key, let's do a loop out to make the animation repeat. And that type of loop out is going to be a ping pong, in quotes. To copy this animation information, Command C or Control C, going to this other wing, pressing R key for rotation, click going back to frame zero, clicking on rotation, Command V to paste, and it pastes the property and the animation of rotation. Excellent. Let's go back to the main timeline. There is no main timeline. Make a new composition, call it main, drag the B to the timeline. Let's animate this B going across. P key for position. Other end of time. Let's move this B over here. And here's a basic animation of the B moving. Let's make the B go up and down a little bit. So it'll dip down here, it'll go a little up here, and then it goes off screen right over there. Next, you can add a little rotation to this. Press the R key for rotation. Click on rotation. Move a few frames over. Let's say by here does a 360, which means negative 1. It's negative 360 degrees. And now we have the bee coming on out, doing a little somersault, backflip, and then continuing on its way. Next step is to add a background. That's the flower layer. Just drag the flower beneath here. Let's animate a slow push in, and all that means is a scale. S key for scale. And the next keyframe at the other end of time, right over there. So we have the slow push in happening. If you want it to happen a little quicker, go to the second key and just increase the scale. And there's the B flapping. Go to S for the B scale and let's just shrink it. And now you can take a look at your small B just doing a tumble salt. Maybe you want to flip the other way. And all that would mean is going back to the B's rotation R, going to that second number. And instead of negative one, you could type in one. And you can watch it flip around the other way now. But let's add a texture to the overall scene. And you can either just add texture to the background image or to everything. And I said overall scene, that means make a new solid Add a fractal to that solid under effects and presets. Type in the word fractal and drag a fractal noise out to that solid. Fractal noise alone, just a still image. Let's evolve this fractal, pressing the option or alt key right on the stopwatch where it says evolve. That exposes the script. I'm going to type in time multiplied by 100. If you want this to look faster, type 2, 300. If you want slower, type in 10 or 50. So time multiplied by how fast do you want it to go. And there's a small evolution going on. Blend this with everything in the scene. And to do that, make sure you have your expand or collapse your blend modes clicked, which it is. Unchecked, you don't see them. Clicked, you see them. And the type of blend mode I want to add, I'm going to use soft light. And this adds this texture on top of everything in the scene. If you don't want texture on everything, you just want this texture to be on the flowers, just drag that solid layer beneath the bee, and now that texture is on the flowers. If you want to animate that texture moving left to right, you go into the fractal, and going under it's transform. And after you expose transform, and at frame zero, click on offset turbulence, and at the other end of time, Along the x-axis, drag that number, making it bigger, and you can see that turbulence move on over. This creates a mist moving across the flowers in the background. Mm -hmm.